Hunt. I'm super excited to show you how I discover nature with my family. One thing that I love about nature is there's so much magic to take in. Everywhere you turn, you can find something new. What I love most about nature is I don't have to go far to learn, create, or explore since nature is all around us. That's why I wanted to create an enchanted terrarium. An enchanted terrarium is a small garden with pebbles, plants, lots of decorations, and rocks. Today, I'm going on a magical adventure with my family right in our backyard. I get to discover what makes nature so exciting and special, just like my favorite Walt Disney Animation Studio characters, Queen Elsa. I cannot wait to show you what I create. My backyard is full of cool stuff, like a bamboo tree, a water fountain, and a really cool flower bush. What really makes my backyard so special is that it has a big maple tree, which kind of makes me feel like I'm in an enchanted forest. I love to explore nature and create new things, so I decided to build a terrarium myself. It was so much fun. But before making it, I had to ask my mom if it was okay. She said she'd help me. So we headed to our backyard and started our adventure. First, me and my mom dug up some dirt and put it into a bucket so we could bring it inside for later. Then, we started looking all around our backyard for rocks. The more rocks we found, the more excited I got about what was to come. And that's when something magical happened. We found rocks that looked like enchanted gems. We also found one that had a funny shape. So I told my mom that that reminded me of the earth giants and that we had to grab as many as we could. Once we found all the rocks we needed, we started looking for the sticks and other small pebbles around my backyard. But I knew we couldn't do it alone. We had to find lots and lots of materials, so we were going to need some extra help. That's when I called over my little sisters to help us make the perfect terrarium. It was so much fun getting to help my little sisters find what they needed. I even started to feel like Elsa, who went with her sister on a picking picture too. So if you're a big sibling, you could be a leader for your little brothers or sisters, just like Elsa and me. This way, they don't have to miss out on all the fun adventures. My sisters found these beautiful, colorful leaves and some cool sticks to add to our collection. Then we looked around for a little bit longer and spotted some grass. So we worked up together to gather it all up. Before we knew it, we had tons of materials in our hands. We all had so much fun and work to do. Okay, so JD, do you remember in Frozen 2, they talk about the four elements? Yeah. Do you know what the four elements are? Yeah, um, fire, mm -hmm. water, earth, and wind. Good job. So what here in the terrarium represents earth? Um, the rocks in my terrarium. What here represents fire? Um, these sticks poking out from the ground. And how about wind? That's a tricky one. Yeah, I actually use these petals representing wind because petals are really light, so they're easy to move in the wind. Okay, awesome. I think we have all of our materials. Now that we had everything we needed, it was time for us to head inside and make our enchanted terrariums come to life. Mom grabbed us some glass containers so we could start adding all the materials we gathered outside. Now it's time to get ready for what I've been waiting for all day, building my enchanted terrarium. First, I grabbed the awesome rocks me and my mom found outside and placed them into the bottom of my jar. Then, mom helped me put the dirt inside so it wouldn't get everywhere. Then it was time to add my flower petals, sticks, and leaves to really give my terrarium that magic touch. While I was adding the rest of my materials, mom and I noticed that we were missing one of the four elements, water. So we added just a little bit of water so my jar wouldn't get too muddy. I was so, so happy because now my terrarium was starting to look like a moment from Frozen. But we weren't just done yet. My mom surprised me with an extra special gift. I couldn't believe it. She gave me these teeny little Frozen dolls for me to place in my terrarium. You could really feel the magic now. Now that mom and I have created the perfect terrarium, it was time to help my sisters create theirs too. And this is what they made. Once me and my sisters had the perfect enchanted terrariums, all that was left to do was to let nature take over. If you and your family want to try this at home, you can use whatever natural materials you find outdoors. You could even use seashells from beaches, rocks, or even leaves you could collect on walks. I hope that you had as much fun as I did today building my enchanted terrarium with my mom and sisters. Don't forget that nature's all around you and yours to discover. Goodbye!